Yo, what is good YouTube and friends? You're here chilling with the real Satoshi Aoki. Got an NFT video for you today. We're actually going to be talking about Goblin Town. I'm actually going to be setting up my NFT Goblin Town burger trap, picking one goblin using three out of my three burgers to get the highest rarity grumple. If you do want to fast forward at any stage in this video, there will be timestamps down below. And also just to let you know as well, I do own three Goblin Town NFTs and I do own three McGoblin Burgers that I'll be using for this video. Now, of course, I do have investor bias towards this project. I got in for my three goblins all at around two Ethereum, okay? So even in the midst of this NFT bear market, I am still up a little bit. And if you take into consideration the actual burgers, the McGoblin burgers, they've got a floor price of around one Ethereum. Again, I'll be burning those today to set up a three Grumple burger trap, okay, to get that Grumple. But, you know, I am up on my investment. I think, you know, one of the things that does stand out to me for an NFT project like this is the fact that you know they were first to the table when it came to coup first to the table well of recent times I should say when it actually does come to a free mint obviously CryptoPunks was the first official free mint but after CryptoPunks a lot of people just stopped doing free mints and Goblin Town actually brought that out with uh, the .wtf domain as well so you know they were first movers advantage and they just create an absolute storm of disgusting derivatives and copycats and lots of other projects that are doing free mints pretty much all of which I can say have probably gone to zero at least 99.9% .9 of them by now so I think you know in terms of price speculation for the floor price of Goblin Town NFT who knows a lot of people thought that you know the other side were behind this project before Truth Labs who are a fantastic project as well been around for some time reputable docs team came out and actually announced that they actually were the ones behind this project so when they did come out and the mystery was kind of uh, dissolved, I suppose. That was, uh, yeah, it was a little bit uh, flattening, you know. There's a bit of a flat feeling going around in the community. I think a few people were in denial because, you know, obviously what added to the element of who are these goblins was the fact of the mystery behind it I thought was really, really exciting. And that's now gone because we know that there's a good established docs team behind it. Who would have thought that those facts would actually turn people away and make people sell. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, whether you look at it unbiasedly or not, it's definitely a positive thing for the project moving forward. They're telling some great stories and, you know, I am going to be holding and, and hoping for an upturn when uh, we reach more of a bull market in NFTs. What are the downsides? Well, you're, you're investing in NFTs, guys. So, you know, 90% at least, there's going to be a chance that your NFT goes to zero, okay? You know, if you know, if you thought that altcoins were bad, NFTs are even worse. They're so saturated, a lot of scams out there. And yeah, it's just gonna take a little bit of time for, you know, profile picture NFTs, these kinds of NFTs on OpenSea to, you know, shed a lot of the bad reputation they have. There's a lot of toxicity in the space as well. So, you know, it is hard trying to navigate through all of that and it's a big negative in the space. But to be honest with you, that's just something that you do have to be prepared for with a sort of newer technology that is becoming mainstream slowly. So of course, Goblin Town NFTs are a massive risk, guys, and genuinely, they could go to zero, but you know, I've had enough NFTs of mine go to zero, so I'm ready for that to happen, and I'm prepared to take the risk that they might go to 20 ETH or above. All right, now let's get into setting up this NFT Grumple Trap. Alrighty, folks, so do make sure that if you have got goblins, guys, and you haven't actually set up your traps with your burgers yet, make sure that you go to their official Twitter to use the correct links. If you use the wrong links, you could get scammed, lose your NFTs, and lose your money, everything, okay? So be really, really careful. I'm actually going to do you a favor. I'm gonna leave the official Goblin Town Twitter at the uh, top of the description of this video, and there you're gonna have all the correct links, okay? You got the collections for the goblins, the, uh, the goblin burgers, and the grumples here, and their pinned tweet at the moment, guys. It's the, uh, the, the 4th of um, August at the moment. Uh, here it is here, okay? GoblinTown.WTF Master Beta, okay? So you've got the site, which is this one here, which we're going to go to in a moment. And then we've got the actual OpenSea collection for the Grumples there, because people have already started to mint, okay? And they are here. So apparently, we have 1.7K items with 1.1K owners, 102 total ETH volume, uh, floor price of 1 Ethereum, and a 0.82 best offer price. Now, one thing I would want to say is this is how they look, okay? Pre-reveal. Now, I've actually got this set up at the moment to actually pick up the floor price of the ones that have three burger traps okay so as you can see one two 
tree in um, textbook Goblin Town language. Okay, one is one burger trap, there's uh, 12, 13, two, 180, and for three, we've got 288 at the moment. Okay, so 288, but obviously people are assuming that the NFTs that have three are going to be rarer, I suppose. They have a greater rarer, be a little bit more valuable. So I set up for three, okay, tree I should say, 288 there, and as you can see, the current floor price is 3.5, okay, but there isn't many listed. I've got it on buy now as well, and and how many do we have listed here? 11 total items listed, guys, and obviously, yeah, 60, 90, 38. Remember, these are just listed prices, okay? So no, people haven't paid these high ticketed prices for these just yet. All right, guys, and these are my actual three goblins, okay? I got 2120, I got 3023. This is a little fella. This is my, um, I guess, my life goblin. He's my favorite, okay? Least rare, okay? And I got 4698. Now, I don't know if this is going to be applicable for sure, but my 2120 goblin here is actually probably my least favorite, but also the rarest, okay? So if I go over here to uh, Rarity Sniper here, as you can see, these are the rankings, okay? So this fella here, 2120, is ranked 2853 out of 10K. Then we've got 6127 out of 5, uh, 10K and then 8653 rank out of 10k, okay? So I'm gonna use that fella, just assuming that he's the rarest and maybe I'll get a rarer grumple if I use a rarer goblin. Now, one thing you do need to note, guys, is that you can only use your goblins once. So this guy, I'm gonna use once for three burgers. So, um, for example, if I used him once for one burger, I can't then go and use him consecutive times. Basically, you can only take your goblin to set up one burger, okay, with between one to three burgers uh, per goblin. You can only do that once, okay? And guys, if you do have a hot dog, okay, um, if you were lucky enough to mint a hot dog, you can also use that as well. And at the making of this video, guys, I will be publishing this today. You got 15 days and 10 hours to actually do this if you wanna get involved, whether you have a goblin town NFT or not. Okay, so let's jump straight into this process, guys. So I'm gonna select this goblin here, okay, and we're going to explore the alley okay let's take ourselves on a little journey here okay that's my little gobloni there 2120 all right guys so we're actually in the alley now so there's no sort of direct instruction we can turn the music on let's listen don't know if i'm going to get done for copyright i hope not considering they're a coup project but we'll see i don't I think that music's actually horrendous but we'll keep it playing anyway this looks like i mean is this the giant grumple i don't know this is like a light shining on a worker at mcgoblin burger it looks like a grumple head in there um, that looks maybe like it's Goblin Town there. Uh, okay, I guess let's go over to this guy. What you doing back here? We take the trash out the front. Okay. I'm looking for the used toy Yoda dealer. I'm looking for a Grumple. Uh, I'm looking for the Grumple, man. Okay, so creating a bit of a story here. We can either say, that sounds um, interesting, what happened? What do you know about crusty old gob? Wait, probably a bad idea. This one. Okay. Well, it's an old tale for sure. Lots of adventure and heroism and piss and good things like that. Good metaphor. Yeah, so the gobs kind of like the grumples then, or? Never really put much thought into it. But we sure feel a lot worse. Feel a lot worse. Okay, so this guy likes Grumples. Apparently goblins like Grumples. So apparently goblins like when Grumples are around. Um, so we've got two options, but if they're all over the place anyway, why have we got to trap them? How do I bait a Grumple? Kind of want to know, uh, yeah, let's get to the point guys. How do we bait a Grumple? Okay. Oh, that was super easy to understand. Are you ready to bait a Grumple? Bait the Grumple. Oh, that was super easy to understand. Are you ready to beat a grumble? One, two, three. All right, I'm selecting all. You can choose up to three combos to put in traps if you're fucking insane. All right. We've got three different options. Okay. Are you ready to do this or what? You're taken forever. Uh, you're about to burn three burgers. These tokens will disappear forever, but what appears in their place is going to make you poop your pants. Bait and claim. All right, guys, so I'm getting my MetaMask signature transaction. It's $2.75, so we'll confirm that. I'm so fucking excited, I just peed a little bit. Did you pee a little bit? Okay, guys, so it's claiming. And there it is, guys. So many burgers. We've got three burgers in there. Fantastic. Tree burgers, 17% have this trait. Already got a few offers, obviously not gonna accept that. 
Fantastic, guys. Alrighty, folks, that's all for today's video of Goblin Town, me picking up my Grumple Trap and getting that set up. So let me know what you thought of the video. If you enjoyed it, like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well if you want to see more content like this. So from wherever you're watching from in the world, have a great one, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.